Good morning, Internet. My name is Jack C. Today we will look at a nature paper called Integration of Pre-trained Protein Language Models into Geometric Deep Learning Networks. The graph neural networks have been a vital staple in predicting a tiny biological phenomenon, such as learning on 3D biological structures of large biomolecules and predicting interactions between proteins and their ligands. These graph models typically take either the exact 3D residual uh, structure of a protein from crystallography or just the one-dimensional linear sequence representation of the protein. 3D structures are critical to not only understanding the physical mechanisms of action but also answering a number of questions associated with drug discovery and molecular design. However, the amount of 3D protein structures is usually much lower than the 1D linear protein sequence data. The availability of new protein sequence data continues to far outpace the availability of experimental protein structure data only increasing the need for accurate protein modeling tools. So, is there a way to boost 3D protein uh, graph neural network model prediction accuracy using these abundant 1D uh, protein sequences? So, here's what they did. They fed amino acid sequences into a protein language model called ESM2 and extract the, the residue representations and then these representations can be used as the input uh, node features for the graph neural network. This is a convenient way to boost the initial node representation before feed, feeding it into the 3D graph neural networks. And now let's take a look at some of their results and experiments. Firstly, Protein structure ranking involves uh, assessing and ranking different candidate protein structure models to determine which one is the most likely to represent the original biological active conformation of the protein. Uh, the GNM models are evaluated by their capability of predicting the global distance test score of a candidate uh, structure compared to the uh, experimental structure of the target. They, they introduced uh, the protein language models and they found a substantial increase uh, of accuracy in terms of uh, Spearman, Pearson, and Kendall ranking of the 3D uh, graph neural network models. Next. Protein-protein rigid body docking involves the prediction of the 3D structure of a protein-protein complex from the individual unbound structures. This assumes that no protein conformation change uh, happened during uh, the binding process and the receptor protein is fixed during e evaluation. The complex ligand and interface RMSD decrease a bit when we use the protein language mo model with Equidoc. It is cool to see that a, a DIPS pre-trained Equidoc model still performs worse than the, the original Equidoc model while being equipped with the, the pre-trained protein language model. This demonstrates that uh, structural pre-training for graph neural networks might not even benefit uh, graph neural networks more than using uh, a pre-trained protein language model. Next, ligand binding affinity predicts the strength of a candidate drug molecule's interaction with a target protein by predicting the pK values, where k is the binding affinity in molars. And just like the previous results, the protein language model improves the RMSD correlation and the ranking measures in both cases where 
the protein ligand complexes are split such that no protein in the test data set has more than 30 or 60 percent sequence identity with any other protein in the training data set. Next, protein protein interface uh, investigates whether two amino acids will come into contact with one another when their respective proteins bind together. The AUROC increases for all three models uh, when we augment them with the protein language models. It is quite interesting to see that Moleformer initially falls behind uh, the other models, but after injecting uh, knowledge learned by the protein language models, the Moleformer achieves a similar performance uh, uh, compared to the other models. Next, as we scale up the size of the protein language model, the protein uh, uh, prediction accuracy of these models improve consistently as you increase the size. This implies that the scaling of these language models is crucial for 3D protein uh, graph neural networks. This is essentially a nice way to improve the graph models without uh, falling into the problem of graph oversmoothing and overfitting. Anyway, that is all folks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you all in the next one. Cheers.